This is entitled History Repeats Itself. His story becomes the missed story. The mystery and the lie buries are where all the lies are buried. And your schools are not only for fools. And your universities are not the only keys. And your walls are not your only law. And when you live, you don't only live evil. And after you have lived, you don't only live with the devil. And it's not that that everything's a fact. But if you don't care, you will never share. My religion is unconditional love. And my God is above. Everything that has God in it deserves to be living. Everything that I speak to you, it's got to be the truth. The truth hurts, but you know what's worse. What's worse is we have a key. That you can possibly see if you just look at me. Look at my eyes. Can you see that light? Watch me make it brighter to make this tighter. What I'm trying to say, I cannot play. And what I'm attempting to do, you have not a clue. Does not matter what books you may write or what lies you may speak. To be lie, e, to be lie, be, is to be e l i v e. But believe me, believe, belief, belie, and lie all have a l i e embedded deep in it. It does not mean it's a lie. It just means that I want you to have this clue. Look deep into my eyes and tell me what you see. Do you see you? Do you see that light that's shining in the center of my eyes? Well, that's all the lights that shine at in the brightest night. The brightest night is called the day. It does not mean it will ever go away. They might try to dim the sun's light, but it will only leave, lead to everyone's plight. Everything existing on this planet Earth will thirst that light that's deep in the sky. The ones you may try to associate with being paganistic, the ones that you may associate with being not your relief, not your belief or your religion. It's not what you may think. What is gold? Can you really check deep in a soul? And then you might find your brightest light. Not just the solar panels that shine at night. I'm talking about the blackness that's deep what's in it. The blackness that makes the diamond shine. The diamond that makes the star shine. Those stars that you see in the center of my eye, those are the stars of day and night. Those are the stars of black and white. Please don't be blinded by the light because everything that light touches turns pitch black. And my shadow's there just to remind me that these are facts. I am a poet, but nobody knows it. Your attempt to call this negative, 
something that is not life and something that gives. Well, see, you see me now, how the light has changed. Look at my eyes. Can you see that light? Well, it doesn't matter what color your eyeballs are. Your eyeballs can be blue. Your eyeballs can be yellow. Your eyeballs can be red. Your eyeballs can be green. Your eyeballs can be brown. But that light in the center of your eye, where all your light comes from, doesn't matter what color your eyes is. Your eyes can be every color, the color spectrum and of the rainbow. But that light that you consider dark and evil and depict the pictures of it being everything being done that's evil at night is something that you must know and that I must show that light is blackness. When you go out in the sun, you get blacker and blacker. You don't get whiter and whiter. You get blacker and blacker. You don't get greener and greener. You get blacker and blacker. You don't get bluer and bluer. You get blacker and blacker. You don't get orange and oranger. You get blacker and blacker. Absorption of light and reflection of light shows in the reverse engineered photos, which is what we call negatives. We call them negatives, but we know that they're positive because that without those so-called negatives, why would you call something that's so important to a photographic image something that is negative? Without those negatives, you can't reproduce that photo. Stop calling a negative a negative. That's backwards. It's a lot of things that are backwards that I must bring to your attention because this is not a joke. I am not just saying this from my from my just from my lips. This is not just coming from my lips. Everything has a purpose to exist. We are all family. And it doesn't matter. There is no alien. Nobody is an alien to one another on this planet Earth. There's no one on this planet Earth that's an alien to nobody else. I don't care what part of this universe you come from, what planet you may come from, what galaxy you may come from. Why would you have a war against a star? Huh? Why would you have wars against stars? Hmm? And then why do you put those stars on your flags? And then why do you shop them around to everybody for them to uh, worship those stars? Those, those stars that are not unifying you. That's the star you're supposed to. You're supposed to adhere to. The ones that's going to make you do the right things. I'm not saying to bow down. I'm just saying to be more wiser. There's not a such a thing called Star Wars. I would never have a war against a star because a star is the sun is the star. You want to fight the sun? That's what you're doing. You do, you're starting Star Wars by putting that cloud above our head, which a cloud is water, which water is black and if blackness reflects light. When light touches it, the blackness it, it turns in from it turns the blackness from from to all the primary colors in the rainbow and and the um, the color spectrum. Um, everything comes from blackness. That's why the center of your eye doesn't matter what color your eyes are. Your eyes can be red. Your eyes can be blue. Your eyes can be green. Your eyes can be black. Your eyes can reflect light, and your eyes can absorb light. Okay, clouds reflect light. That's why it gets cold. When it when it's cloudy, it gets cold. When it's cloudy, the oxygen that's in our air that that's God created if we can't work on it like ASAP and have it uh, and have this dilemma reversed by using our brains and stop worshiping the entire monetary system like it's uh, uh, like it's your God. The entire monetary system is not your God. Uh, your God does not have anything against absorption of light, 
or reflection of light. But there's only one thing. I didn't say race because the words racial racism and racism, racial racism, racism derives from the word race. Race. A race is a competition. You're not a competition. A race is not a competition. And you're not a competition. So we'll go back to that. Life. We'll go back to that light. So you can look at my eyes again. See that? See those stars? Those are stars. They're in my eyes. Because the center of your eyes is where all your sight and your light comes from. Without blackness, you can't do anything without blackness. You can call blackness dark if you want to. Call it whatever you want to call it now. The truth is, the truth hurts. That's why truth is spelled H U R T. T, which is hurt. Hurt and truth have the same exact letters in it. So let's put that T back in it, that other T in the, in the word hurt. H U R T T. Okay? That truth, that other truth that was taken out of it, let's put it back in. Because that, that other T in hurt stands for truth. Truth and hurt have the same exact letters in it. Just like other things. Just like other things. Just like the word Christian and Antichrist. They have the same exact letters in it. Christian and Antichrist. It doesn't mean that an Antichrist is a Christian. But it means something that's very significant. Something that's very spiritual. Something very spiritual. And I want you to know this because if lib spelled backwards is evil, L-I-V-E is E-V-I-L backwards, which is live and evil. If that's spelled backwards and forward, live and evil, and the past tense of live and evil is lived and devil. So if live is evil spelled backwards and lived is devil spelled backwards, it's not a coincidence. What do you say? What do you think? See, a race is a competition, and we're not in competition with nobody. We're not in competition to get anywhere or do anything to uh, curtail what is what what will inevitably happen. Um, um, we're not God. It doesn't matter how you were taught that you were God, but you're not aha God. <sighs> That's God. Everybody is uttering God's name all at the same exact time. Everybody utters this <sighs> since the beginning of time. All animals and all whales, <laughs> dogs, <laughs> cats, horses, <laughs> whales. <sighs> Just listen. All you got to do is listen to a well breathe. Google it. Listen to a well breathe. Google it. L listen to the well breathe. And if the well's not saying, ah, which is aha, which is in all your emotions. When you feel good, it's ah. When you feel pain, it's ah. When you do taekwondo, it's taekwondo, it's ah. When you're fighting, you're calling upon the name of God. When you're crying, you're calling upon the name of God. <laughs> and when you're laughing, <laughs> you're calling upon the name of God. Aha. When you feel good, you say, ah, naturally. If you're in pain, ah, shit. If you leave something, the first, ah, shit. Ah, oh, oh, this, ah, oh, that. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, man. Oh, oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, it's God. Oh, it's the name of God. What is happening right now is a total dismantling of the 
dismantling of our democracy. It's not a question of what is happening to my party or to me, uh, or these 170 cases and so on, of whether I'm in jail or these are not one, but two assassination attempts on. It's what is happening to the future of this country if our democracy well, is We're all family. We're all family. We're all family, and we better be very careful on what, what's getting ready to try to take place here. Because God works in mysterious ways. History is history. Our story is our story. The mystery is the missed stories. M-I-S-S-E-D dash S-T-O-R-Y. That's the missed stories. So, this is a podcast, and the name of this podcast is called Unconditional Love.